Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert and you find us at BVE 2017 down here in London Excel. I'm with Paul from Emerging. Great Hello. to see you, buddy. Good to see you too. Um, and we're not really talking about a particular product this time, but a, a software solution that's kind of sneaking its way in, isn't it? Yep, certainly is. So uh, Emerging Technologies are um, soon to release. This is actually a, a beta version we're showing at the moment, so a technology display of a new piece of software called Animan. So Animan is uh, an audio network manager, a piece of software to allow you to uh, control and route all of your audio over IP devices on an AS67 network. So that's not just thinking of our AOIP kind of solutions as Dante and Ravenna and uh, yada, yada, yada. It's Correct. bringing it all into one piece of software for yes. one kind of... so one of the biggest uh, frustrations for a lot of people at the moment has been that every manufacturer producing an audio over IP device has got their own software to control it, but they're not seeing other manufacturers' devices. So the point of this is it's uh, designed to support Ravana, Dante, um, and other audio over IP protocols, but enabling you to manage the devices on the network. From one place. From one place. Which has got to be cool, because let's face it, one of the biggest things we're seeing at the show is the whole um, AOIP, network audio, all that sort of stuff is just going to become bigger and bigger and as correct, more correct. and more companies are building boxes and solutions that do that sort of stuff, yes. it's just going to, it's going to put it like this, ignore AOIP at your peril. Yeah, so, it's the future. So this is still very much a work in progress. So it's a work in progress. It will be uh, uh, a, a software product that will be available later this year. It'll be Mac and PC compatible. And most importantly, the initial um, version will be free of charge. So we like free. There's certainly there are plans to do a sort of much larger scale enterprise edition, or if someone needs, wants to control an entire broadcast center, that will probably be a, be a cost support option. plan yeah, or something. That's right. Yeah, but, but uh, certainly free free right. tools, free software is always a good thing. Fantastic. Yep. Absolutely. Now you're not going to demo this for us, are you? No, we're going to hand over to Jack, who is our uh, product specialist, and we're going to zoom in so you can see exactly what's going on. So it'll be over to Jack now. Um, so this is our kind of main network discovery area. Um, anything that's available in the network is discovered here and we can drag it onto the pin zone. Um, we can add different colored zones so we can split the network into different areas. Currently this is our rack. Um, we have a MacBook um, over there and then we have a Horus on this pod. Uh, any connections you can see um, are given with arrows between the products. Um, and Merchant give us an indication of what is the PTP master um, with a little clock logo. If you want more information from the devices, um, we can see it down here. We can see the version of the serial number the, and the network names. And if we go to the PTP uh, tab, we can see uh, which item is actually our current master. And if I select there, I can see the selection is mirrored up in the network. Um, if I zoom out to route between devices, uh, I can literally just select them and then they'll appear over here on the matrix view. Um, to zoom in, uh, control click allows us to open up a channel by channel routing. Um, and if we shift and drag, we can click to make a network stream, which will come up in green um, with our information over in the top left hand corner um, and then when we're ready we can apply changes and we'll let Ravenna build the network. Uh, once the, when the points um, come up in this kind of light green color then we know that it's live and um, we'll be able to pass audio between those two devices. Uh, if we zoom back out um, we can collapse that view and we can get an indication of where what is actually connected across the network um, even if we're not focused on that particular point. So if you now look on the, um, the pin zone, you can now, if you just zoom in a little bit and you can see the arrow pointing, you've just connected that machine and you can see that there are eight channel connections. Uh, yep, and we can also get some kind of idea of the direction of the audio as well. Um, so this is actually traveling from the Horus. Uh, if we zoom out across here, um, we're going from the, uh, where is it? From the Horus um, AES inputs to the network to the 
merging mass core um, network outputs. Um, if we just connect. So then if you click on um, one of those connections, then you see the, uh, the summary of the, what's called the inputs streamers there, sorry, the, the matrix view, yeah? Yeah, we got the, we got, when we hover over a select, a um, routing, we can see the um, input information, the output information, and then the information for the entire stream across the network. So massive thanks to Paul and to Jack for the demo. Um, I've been James from Pro Tools Expert. I'll see you again soon for some more Gear Talk.